Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is the 15th of January, not January, it is January, I'm lying. And the Legend of Sea of Thieves update just dropped, and I'm here to tell you everything that's new in the update. And to get right into this, as is usual, we have a new Pirate Emporium set, which has the Lunar Festival collection, the romantic, some romantic dances, or romantic, you know, bundle, the new elemental ship, uh, some more lunar cosmetics for your animals. Um, I mean, it's, it's really just the same as every other time. The Kraken stuff is still out for whatever reason. It's super ass, but it's still out. I don't know why it's still out. But I'm going to be buying the new ship. It looks kind of cool, so... Once you spawn into the game, you will find that Duke is cowering in the corner by the stairs. He looks a little more worse for wear than he used to a few months ago whenever we had him. And he has a ton of new items for you. And he has a couple more he has a couple more cryptic voice lines. But some of his items, he has, you know, more Ash and Dragon stuff. Uh, specific, uh, specifically the blunderbust and the hurdy gurdy which are two items that we haven't had yet so the, that means next update we'll be getting the sniper because you know recycled content am I right but other than that he also has gilded voyages that you can get which you know Okay, so, say you buy the Gilded Voyage for the Order of Souls. You get a full map radial of Order of Soul Voyages. But, personally, I'm more interested in the Gilded Athena Voyage, so, yeah, no. But, other than that, he has more doubloon the balloon items, another new ship set, some more clothes, and he also has another gold set, but I mean, that that's about it, a lot of the items are pretty boring, they're really not that good, but I'll be buying them. And if you make your way over to the Reaper's hideout, it looks like a mysterious stranger has been up, has been up to something. This looks like a skeleton fort is being built around the Reaper's hideout. And the floor under the mysterious stranger has this mysterious red glow. You can also find some skeleton glyphs around the uh, the island. But the most, the most disturbing thing is her voice lines. You ask her where Jim is gone, and he she replies with, he will have his role. To, he will. He will. He has a role to play. Very very soon. And then you also say, "Oh, so you're paying for double loot, which is what, the, what, the, what she's doing. And any loot you take to her will be doubled automatically." And then she just says, "Bring us more. We need more." And it's. <laughs> And the speculation is that we will be fighting Captain Flameheart here. Another speculation is actually that... So, in the last Telltale, we freed him in his astral form, but he can't actually do anything. So a speculation is that Jim is going to host his spirit or his astral body did whatever dumb shit people say about it. But that's a speculation. That's not like confirmed or anything, but it'd be kinda cool. But there's also this little map over here that says, you know, the show Shipwreck Bay and Four Sea Post and an early draft for the Reaper's Grave Voyages. And I not really sure what this means. But it's it's there. But no, all whatever. After all this stuff, the main focus of this update is you know the Legend of the Sea of Thieves. So you come over to Umbra, 
and she's she is washed up on Lagoon of Whispers, and she has her little shop set up here, and she has a ton of tattoo sets that you can buy, but you can also buy some more after you unlock all these commendations, and I'll have videos coming out later today about all of the commendations for the Legend of the Sea of Thieves. And also her journals. She has she has ten journals strewn around the map that you can also go and find, which give you doubloons and shit and more story. Let's uncover a legend. But as I was saying earlier, the Reaper's hideout pays double for all loot, except for Reaper's chests. If you walk up with one, it, you can sell the Reaper's Chest for 30 doubloons instead of the original, you know, 25. Or the original 15 that they changed to 25, which is now 30. So that's a good bit. And then, you know, you can sell your Captain's Chest and shit for like 1500 a pop and stuff. Just, you know, it's kind of nice. But that's pretty much it for this update. It's kind of a lackluster update. I mean, not really lackluster. It's kind of cool. Some cool story. It's a lot of cool story, but there's not really any longevity to this update. So I'll play this for like four days, five days, and then I'll just stop playing and see if Thieves again, which I haven't played in a while because there's nothing to do besides grind arena for those shitty fucking so I can use the uh, pirate legend items but yeah whatever well either way thank you all for watching this video see you later something that I forgot to mention again was that there's actually more ash and tomes I don't know if I really need to mention this but it's just the exact same as the last two updates so, you know, more recycled content, but that's just the classic Sea of Thieves, so.